YouTube. Your boy is back once again with another dating and relationships video. Okay, the subject today is where have all the good men gone? I am going to answer this for you today, right here, right now. Most of my viewers are men. So man, them, if you have a female that has asked where have all the good men gone, a female friend or whatever, a cousin, whatever, send them this video. But blood, stay here for the entertainment. Stay here for the entertainment. Then send them this video, right? Or any females out here that are watching the video, send it to your friend them. I'm answering this question right here, right now. Where have all the good men gone? Right. First of all, we need to establish what is good. What's good men? What is good men? Right? So, you know, what, what women want differs between women, yeah? Not all women are the same. But generally, they're wanting the same thing when they're looking for a good man, right? They're looking for a man to respect them. They're looking for a man, you know, that they can have a conversation with, have a nice time, you know, do nice things with them, right? Communicate. And one of the big things a woman wants from a good guy is time. Spending the time with them, yeah? Yeah. You know, they want to date with a purpose. You know, they a lot of women, they want the relationship. Not all, but a lot of women, they want the relationship. So they want their man to spend time with them. Yeah, if they enter a relationship, they want to spend time with the guy. But even bigger than that, one of the top things that female wants is loyalty. Loyalty. Right? So they want the good guy. But ladies, the thing is, there are guys out there that will do all of that, plus more, plus more. They will do all of that communication, you know, being respectful, courteous, doing all that good guy stuff, plus more. Plus throw rose petals in your feet when you're walking, plus give you a foot massage. Plus do whatever you want them to do in the bedroom. Yeah? There's guys out there that will do that. So you're, you're probably saying, oh, so where are they? The problem is, you are not attracted to those guys. You are not attracted to those guys. In fact, I'm going one step further and say, you don't even notice these guys. The street sweeper that's sweeping the street that sees you walk by and think, hmm, you don't even you don't even acknowledge him. He's in the picture in the background. He's like part of the painting. He don't even enter your cerebral cortex as a potential candidate for dating. The guy stacking shelves in Asda, he's not even crossing your mind. He's just some image, a figure at the corner of your eye. You're not even looking at him. He might be saying, oh, that girl looks attractive. I'd like to get... Yeah, geez, you're not even... Are you on dating apps? How many guys you swipe left or swipe right, whichever direction it is? I don't know about dating apps. I'm old school, yeah? Right? But you, you, you don't notice a lot of these guys. Right? That's the issue. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to keep the number simple for easy maths, for easy understanding. But basically, 20, the top 20% of guys are getting 80% of the women. Let me say it again. The top 20% of guys are getting 80% of the women. So all the rest of the guys, whether they're nice guys or not, you're not attracted to them. You're attracted to the top 20%. So are plenty other females. So what are we going to do about this imbalance? You've got the top 20% of guys and 80% of the females want them. So if you're good at maths, 
you're going to think, okay, so there's 20% of guys for 80% of women. That means there's one guy for every four women. That means three in every four women are getting left out. No, they are not. Because the top 20% 20, 20 of guys, they will, ha they will happily have four girls each. Now, if they, when I say the top 20% of guys, obviously, females from different walks of life are going to see different men as the top 20% of guys in it, right? You've got the college girls. You know, the young girls, they might just be into looks. So the top 20% of guys, for them, are like, yeah, the guys with looks, you know, the pretty, pretty boy face, you know, Trey songs. And, you know, they got the, you know, they got the, the chiseled body. That's top 20% of guys for them, yeah? Then you might have the hood girls. The top 20% of guys for them might be the top level drug dealers, yeah? Not the corner boys, the top level drug dealers, yeah? That might be the top 20% of guys for them. The corporate women, the top 20% of guys for them are the guys that are running the businesses, yeah? They want those guys, right? And then them nightlife girls, the top 20% of guys for them might be the rappers, the entertainers, yeah? You know, the the rich daddy's little girl kind of girls, the top 20% of guys for them might be the footballers, the movie stars or whatever, yeah? So top 20% of guys are different for different women. But generally speaking, the top 20% of the guys get 80% of the women. So no, that one in four, it's not like three out of four women are missing out. The guys are happy to have four women each. You get it? I'm keeping the math really simple. This is not clean. This is not clean cut to how it exactly is out there. I'm just trying to keep the math simple for you to understand. So these top 20% of guys, they will have multiple women naturally because they're in abundance. And it is within men's nature to whatever you may think or say, it is within a man's nature to, to want to, you know, have bare women. Even the men that are loyal they, a lot of them are suppressing that. So they're loyal to their woman throughout their whole life. But they are suppressing that feeling. To want multiple women. The guys at the top, they're, they're exercising that. Because they can. Now, you're going to see this guy that you're attracted to. Whether he, you know, he's an entrepreneur. Owns businesses or whatever. Multiple businesses. You know, he's in the stock market, he's in real estate, blah, 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 blah. Whether it's that guy you like, whether it's a top-level drug dealer, whether it's the pretty boy at college, whether it's the millionaire footballer, yeah? You're going to go to these guys. It's not it's not going to happen 100% of the time. But they might not be loyal. They might not give you the time that you want from them. And then, you know, you, you, know, you thought it was going to be, you thought the grass was greener over there. No, it's not. You're not getting what you want out of this. Yeah, this is the guy you're attracted to. But you're not getting what you want out of it. And you've experienced this a few times. So then you start to say to yourself, where have all the good men gone? Then you start to say to your friend, where have all the good men gone? Then you start to post on social media, where have all the good men gone? Right. So, let me just give you a little bit of good news. Of course, there are, there are billions of people in the world. So out of those top 20% of guys... There are going to be a tiny fraction of them that will give you what, you know, the guys that you're not attracted to, the regular guys that you don't even notice that you're not, that you're not attracted to, you know, the things that they will do for you. There are obviously going to be outliers. They're going to be out of the top 20% of the guys. There are going to be some of them that will be super loyal to you, that will communicate with you. That will do all that. So that's exactly what you want. But you're going to have to find them. Right? Now, when you find them. Right? Listen to me carefully. You're still with me, yeah? When you find them. That's not it. What you need to ask yourself, right? What you need to ask yourself is. Why are they going to want? you with the top 20 with the top one percent of the top 20 percent of guys you can't do that 
accept me for me. You know, I deserve a man just because I'm, I deserve a good guy just because I'm a female. Not because I'm anything special. Just because I'm a female, I deserve this 1% of the top 20%. I deserve this just because I'm a female. Don't matter how I look. Don't matter how I act. I just deserve that. Life don't work that way, my dear. No. What's the solution? So you, so you found your unicorn. So you found the unicorn. It's not just accept me as I am. This guy's already decided he's in the top 20%. But now he's the 1% of the top 20%. Again, I'm keeping the math simple just for understanding purposes, yeah? He's in the top 1% of the top 20%. Yeah? You can't just be you. <laughs> you, you can't just, oh, whatever. You need to find out what he likes, what he wants in a woman, yeah? He's just going to want you because you're you. Then you might say, but I'm beautiful. Thousands, millions of beautiful women out there. You're going to think, okay, yeah, but eyelashes are, yeah. I got my implants. I got my BBL. It's not enough, Yeah. There's plenty sexy women out there, whether they're sexy because they're natural, sexy because they've got surgery. Whether they're pretty naturally, whether they're pretty because they've got surgery. There's loads of you out there. If you want that 1% of the top 20%, you're going to find out what he wants. The looks alone don't make it. The fact that you're a woman alone don't make it. You need to find out what this guy wants. You need to submit to him. You need to form part of his program. Yeah? So, there are good men out there. Plenty. Yeah? But you don't want them. The unicorns, if you find them, they are not going to want you if you don't fit into what he wants. So, you need to find out what he wants. You need to subscribe to my channel. Yeah? You need to find out what he wants. So, to summarize, ladies, yeah, you have three options. You got three options. Stay as you are, complaining about there's no good guys, letting these guys, these top guys, um, do what they want with you, and then you get in your feelings after there's no good guys, there's no good guys, there's no good guys, there's no good guys. Or, you know what? You could just say, okay, you know what? I'm tired of this. Let me lower my standards. You know, I'm getting to a certain age. My looks are declining. Let me take the L. Let me lower my standards. Go for these regular guys that I'm not really attracted to, but... Yeah. Or, if you want to get the unicorn, the 1% of the, 20, of the top 20%, then you need to change yourself. Yeah. Right. You need to change yourself. You need to find out what these guys want. You need to watch more of these real world videos. These check yourself videos. You need to find out what the top guy wants. Yes. you. Yes. You might be beautiful. You might have thousands of guys in your DMs. Yeah? Blowing your sexual market out of proportion. Your sexual market value out of proportion in your mind. You might be getting all that. But when you find the one or one of the ones, it's not you can't just treat them the same like the guys. Yeah? Right? So, there are good men out there. Plenty. Like we've established the regular guys. But there are also a very small number of good guys out there, the kind of guys that you like, the unicorns, you may never find them, to be honest, I, I've got, I can't, I'm not going to sit up here and lie, lie to you, you might not find them, but when you do find them, are they going to want you, are they going to want you, because let me tell you one thing about the world, it's not magic, <laughs>